YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl Jahira, and I am back. Hi. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to be kind of back in the swing of things. Um, it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy couple of weeks. Um, today is my birthday. <laughs> I am 33 years old and fabulous as of today. And um, I'm still getting over this cold, y'all. So if my voice sounds crazy, hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I'm I'm really, really, really sorry if my voice is still kind of like, Ugh. but um, I've been putting up with this cold in the whole nine yards, and it is getting better. So I'm I'm plugging along. But yeah, I, I didn't really know if I wanted to come in today because I, I get weird about stuff like this. Like, I don't want to elicit the happy birthday response. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing this just for the, the sake of some perceived idea of comments I might receive. But I'm now in a position where a lot of the hurdles that I was dealing with um, that kept me away from YouTube are now, you know, I'm over. Uh, so I have to get back in it somehow, and I figured this was the way. Plus, it's my birthday, and I can celebrate it however I want to. And I choose to celebrate it here. So everything is going well with me. Please don't be expecting this video to have a point, because it doesn't. I can tell you now, it just doesn't. I've been enjoying the hell out of my birthday thus far. Um, the, the response I received on Facebook, I have been more emotional this birthday than I, I can remember being on any birthday. And I spent last night sitting up in bed with the lights out trying to deconstruct that. And I really think it's because I am in a better place now than I have been in a very, very, very long time. I mean, just in terms of emotionally and spiritually and mentally. In birthdays past, you know, I would spend them trying to, you know, in the old relationship I was in, trying to keep up the lie I had going in my head that things were working. Or before I had my own place, I'd be at somebody else's house wondering if this was the day that they were going to put me out, you know? There wasn't really cause to celebrate, and now there is. There really is. I suppose in the grand scheme of things, just another year of life is cause for celebration, but, you know, sometimes our judgment is clouded, or our better judgment is clouded by um, the, you know, ins and outs of day-to-day -day life, so to speak. Y'all, if you don't know about cuties... Let me explain to you how devoid of joy your life has been up until this point. There are these little, I mean, if y'all live in the U.S., I'm sure you have seen the commercials with the little, the, like the adorable little kids picking up these oranges. But they're just the cutest little oranges, and they're so easy to peel. And if you're somebody who's, you know, kind of on a journey to wellness like I am, this is so freaking guilt-free, it's a sin. It is sinful. You should pray and fast about it. But they're so sweet and they're so adorable. And I mean, you can literally put one in a pocket, not even your purse, a pocket and be on your way. Actually, you could put one in each pocket and say that you have really bold ovaries. But the point is, they're just there. They are fan freaking tastic. And I highly recommend them to everybody. And that's just basically it, y'all. It's been a very, very quiet kind of weekend. Um, I picked up some books. I'm super excited about uh, finishing them. Okay, so have y'all seen um, the commercials? And, and granted, I know I'm late on this. I already know. I know what year it came out, and I was just the last one to pick it up. But have y'all seen the commercials for the movie that's coming out, The Hunger Games? So The Hunger Games is based on a book that was written by Suzanne Collins. And I just don't feel like reaching that far. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Murph. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. 
The Hunger Games, Suzanne Collins. I picked it up at Walmart. And it's a YA book, y'all. It's, it's target audience is young adult. But let me tell y'all, I picked the book up. I started reading and I stayed up all night. I mean, I did not put it down until 6.45 in the morning. There was no... Ah, y'all, hold on. I'm sorry about that, y'all. But yeah, there was just... There was no part of that book that gave me a break. Like, I literally could not put it down. It was just cover to cover and entrancing. That's the only thing I can say about it. So if you have not read it or if you have seen it and kind of been uh, hesitant to read it because of, like, the YA title it's been given, I guess their target demographic was young adults. Anybody anybody can get hooked on this book. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. There are two more in the series. I've already finished the second one. I've started on the third. It's a whole thing with me. I'm so, so excited about it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what my day has shaped up to be and sort of how the birthday is going. I'm not going to keep y'all too much longer, but uh, everything is just really, really well. I um. I look back, you know, 33 is just kind of a funny number to me because I, I think of how rarely those those double, like, numbers come. You know, 11, 22, 33. And I thought last night about my 22-year-old self and how incredibly stupid I was um, and just sort of where I've gotten to now. It's a really beautiful thing. So um, with that being said, YouTube, let me get out of here. Because I'm, I'm going to get ready for a little get-together, I believe. And um, hopefully I will enjoy myself. I'm sure that I will. I'm surrounded by incredible people. And um, today is just a day that I've been engulfed in love. And um, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. So, I love y'all. And I will talk to you soon. Pray for my voice. Later. One love. <laughs>